that elegance is when the inside is as beautiful as the outside. Now fashion is a crazy business and not one that Luxembourg is particularly well known for even though we've just had Luxembourg Fashion Week. Nevertheless, delighted to be joined by one of the latest names that has emerged here on the fashion scene, Francine K. Francine Kaiser, hello, good afternoon. Hello, Jim. I had to think really carefully about that because you're both the owner and designer behind the brand, aren't you? That's correct. Oh my goodness. Now, I know that previously, let's be matter of fact, you used to be a very successful lawyer. That's correct too. I have been a lawyer for more than 30 years. I was a partner in one of the big law firms in, in Luxembourg, an international firm. So that was already quite intense, I guess, wasn't it? It, it was intense. I mean, the life of, of a partner in a law firm is very exciting very challenging, but also very challenging in terms of uh, free time. You, it does not leave a lot of time for other interests besides your work. And is that the reason you changed, actually? That's uh, indeed. It, it, it has been, well, I tried many ways to work less, to have part time or so, and that's very difficult in that job because uh, it, it was, uh, I, I was very passionate about that job in the law firm. I, I, I became a lawyer really by passion. I did not have any lawyers in my family. So I, I've set it up from scratch to, to do this. And I, I had the, the chance to be in a, in a large law firm. And therefore, I was just absolutely not able to reduce workload. So I made a promise to myself quite early in, in that career that if I couldn't reduce work and if I couldn't pursue other interests because I had many other interests, I would then have to stop this career somewhere in the middle of my life and then uh, have the time finally for, for pursuing other interests. Now, how did you find that change? Because honestly, lawyers are held in quite high esteem in Luxembourg. You know, Mr. Elvinger, Mr. Lush, uh, you know, all Mr. Harless. Uh, how did you find that change? Well, it's, it's something you have to prepare in, in your in your mind for, for quite some time. I mean, you must, before you do this step, you must be absolutely comfortable that you can live without a certain financial status, without a certain social status, and that there are other things in life that are as valuable or even more valuable than this. So you have to prepare, you have to prepare mentally, you have to prepare fin financially, obviously, and I was so sure this was something, a chance I wanted to give myself and therefore I pushed it through and I'm very happy now I pushed it through. So how long have you been going for actually as the brand Francine K? Uh, not that long, it, it's a year and a half now. And you've already had some international success. I pushed it very hard. I think that's my, my temper. You were in New York Fashion Week. <laughs> I, I was in, yes, I was in, in, in New York Fashion Week. I was in London Fashion Week last month. Uh, I, I opened my shop a year ago in Luxembourg. On the Rue du Nord, an incredible street to have a shop it's on, isn't in, it? In the old part of town, a really, really uh, very, very pretty premises, which made me also take that opportunity because it was not scheduled. Maybe one thing I have to say, it's a big step when you change. It took me also some time to take that decision to enter a completely new world because that's a, a big challenge. Everything is new and, and, and you have to, to find your way in, in a new world. But then once I had taken the decision and once I, I had found the, 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 the right uh, development agency and, and production firm, things came by themselves. So I, I found, I, I didn't intend to open a shop, but there came the opportunity to open the shop. I didn't intend definitely to go to New York Fashion Week after eight months uh, of, of, of my first collection. But I just, one day I thought, let's try. I make an application and it took some time and I was very, very surprised when finally I, I, I was accepted. Do you think, were you accepted because your clothes are unusual? Because they are quite an interesting combination of fabrics, aren't they, and shiny. Kind of I, 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 I like to believe that I was accepted really because of, of the design of, of my clothes because I could not be accepted because of my track record. I didn't have any, so that was actually a big problem and I thought that would, would eliminate me from, from the selection. But uh, no, I was, was selected on the basis of the collection I, I, I had created. 
my clothes are indeed, uh, my, my collection is special. People tell me they cannot find it anywhere else. So for those who do not know, it's a combination. I, I like a lot of combination of materials, of classic fabrics like wool and, and silk combined with technical materials, uh, be it PVC or, or, or metallic pieces. So the, the garments remain quite classic, but with always this touch of originality. Mm. And is this a reflection of you and your style? That's, uh, I think, it, it, it's <laughs> actually, I would say, it's probably the type of, of clothes I was always looking for and I would have hoped to have uh, while being a lawyer because uh, if, you have, if you are an active woman and, and you have responsibilities, you have to be classic, you have to dress up uh, in a certain way. But as a woman, I didn't want to be boring and grey. And, and so I, I was always looking for some originality, some colour, but still remaining classic and, and sober. And I think in, in my collections, I, 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 I was able to, to gather all this, being sober and joyful and classic and comfortable and so creating a unique product. Now the fashion industry has evolved and continues to evolve at quite a pace and one of the areas is diversity where I know myself when I get emails advertising men's clothes uh, the models are completely a big big range of eth ethnic groups are represented and sizes and shapes. From your point of view is this a good thing or is this just political correctness? I really think it's a good thing. I think it is very important for fashion to be a means of expression. It is a means of expression and it's a means of expression that goes beyond borders, beyond geographic borders, beyond political borders. It's an important role for fashion to play. Um, also fashion was always the, the forerunner of social movements, like I'm thinking of the emancipation of women in the 60s or the LGBTQIA plus movement. So it is always, uh, at the beginning of these movements, fashion pushes it very hard. And fashion is really transmitting that message uh, of tolerance over the borders. Now, let's just think about you for a second, because at the moment, so you've got one shop, Rue de Nord. Um, do you imagine this to grow? Is that your aspiration? Yes, I, I think, well, of course, I, I need to have a strategy that, that uh, I want to pursue. My strategy is clearly to expand internationally. I'm already, so I, I started Rue du Nord in, in, in Luxembourg. I'm also selling in New York in a very nice shop with, uh, in Soho with, with uh, other independent uh, designers, which is a fantastic shop and which is a very, very nice business model for me because I think at some stage you have to do to take the decision whether you want to be independent, doing slow fashion, you have actually to be independent to create what you want as much as you want, as fast as you want, and, and, and sell it where you want. So I would like to develop, I, I will start selling in Paris very soon, in, in March next year, and then I'm thinking of developing to other countries, uh, maybe London, London would be great, uh, Germany, Scandinavia, yes, there are plans for, for expansion, wow. clearly. Now, final question before I let you go. Uh, 2023, let's talk about women. From your perspective, what does it mean to be attractive as a woman in 2023? Um, well, I, I, I would like to, to say what Coco Chanel already said uh, 70 or 80 years ago, and it remains valid, that Elegance is when the inside is as beautiful as the outside. I think that statement is still so correct. I think elegance is still so much of a relevance because that's something many people ask me. Do you see people, women still to be elegant these days? And clearly it is absolutely necessary and, and women are elegant because elegance is what also many designers now have as a, 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 desi a, a, a design to say, Elegance is an attitude, so it's a, a respect towards yourself, respect towards others, and in terms of how women should, should behave in, in terms of fashion style, I think everybody has to long for his own style, look for a personalized style. It's not every, everybody is different, so everybody has to find a style that reflects his or her inner beauty and reflects really what, what they are. Lovely. Thank you so much for that. That was Francine Kaiser, who is the owner 
and designer behind the brand, Francine E.K. Francine, thank you. Thank you very much.